All right, we're going to continue on with our series. We just, uh, in our last video, added an anchor tag, uh, manipulated that a little bit with a target attribute so that we could open a new tab. Now we're going to move on to images. So one of the things you can do is you can search Google for, you know, an image. You got to be careful um, because sometimes these images are copyrighted, um, but there is an image search. Um, I actually searched for gray cat because that's what I have. And uh, one of these pictures is what I downloaded. So um, we're just going to pull up that image and add it to my info.html file. I open that Visual Studio. Uh, inside this paragraph, you is add an image tag. Source tools. Not a file name it is gray cat.jpg. Again, if you're on a web server, you need to make sure that you. Uh, Put in the correct path in this case because we're on a local file system we don't have a path uh, we just it just uses relative path name so i'm on my first html page if i click on the info page i now have a picture of a cat all right so we got our image and one of the things i haven't done in a while is validated the markup file uh, so i'm going to do that on our info file Validate, see that we have an error. Um, there is an alt tag required that we have not specified. So we're going to come in here, specify alt equals a. This is a required attribute because it, it feeds into alternate browsers. If I'm blind and I want to read this website, uh, I can't see a gray cat, but the alternate text will indicate and read to them what the picture indicates. So now, if I choose that file again, open it, we validate, see that it validates as strict, and uh, there's no error any longer. And the last thing we need to do is go back our page and hit refresh and you'll see there's no change but if we look at the page source there is an alternate indicator one of the last things i want to show you is that you can add um, height and width tags okay, height equals 100 uh, google handles this pretty well um, other browsers kind of mess with the picture they keep the same width and change the height. Kind of makes it look ugly. If I rename, if I, excuse me, if I refresh Google, it kind of maintains that aspect ratio without having to specify the, the width. Uh, and if I were to change it to width equals 200, you'll see that it does the same thing. So let's uh, go back to our backlog and we'll see that I showed you how to search Google. Again, caution, you gotta be careful downloading pictures, making sure they're not copyrighted. Uh, you download it to your local website folder. We did that. Uh, we add an image tag uh, of the image itself. And uh, I showed you how to do, I actually went further and. Showed you how to add the alt attribute as well as the height and width. I'm going to finally um, do another validation, show that the will validate as strict. And even with the width or the height attributes, I want to thank you for watching my videos and I hope to see you on the next one. I hope you. Uh, if you, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit the like button, 
uh, subscribe or share. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Come on.